This is for the curly hair girls that just want beach waves. So today I'm gonna to show you how to have beach waves if you have curly hair without looking like an electrocuted poodle because we have it harder. Our hair, if you try to just wand it like the straight hair girls, you just look crazy. So I'm gonna show you two different ways. That's why my hair is parted in the middle. I'm aware that my forehead looks terrible and I'm gonna part, but you're gonna have to deal with it. One of them is straightening the ends first and the other one is straightening the ends second. So really quick, I'm gonna put all of these things on my lap down. Get my favorite heat protector, because if you know me, then you know if you don't use a heat protector, I'm gonna harass you about it because it's so important to not melt your hair. This is the Tripoli, 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 Tripoli. I should know how to say this. I use it and I sell it in my salon, but whatever words. It is aerosol, it's very light. I'm gonna try to spray it. I'm usually a little bit more aggressive since my camera lens is right in front of me. I'm gonna be a little more gentle, but I just kind of hold out the back, spray it. Make sure you get the ends for sure, for sure. It is a little bit oily, just be aware. It might make your roots a little too oily if you're naturally pretty oily. I'm pretty dry, so I put a ton. So make sure you get that underside by kind of leaning your neck out and just spritzing it. Then I spray over the top, just in downward strokes. Don't tell my sister I'm spraying her plants with stuff. Then I pick it up about here. It's just kind of spray and like, it sprays pretty wide, so just like straight up and down should kind of cast a net over your whole head. And then again, from like forehead up. And then one last spritz on the top for good measure. Normally, you wouldn't separate your hair in half. I'll explain that later, but for the sake of doing it two different ways, I'm gonna do that really quick. And then I'm just gonna take one whole side and go through and straighten the ends. I don't have a mirror in front of me, so I'm using my viewfinder. If it bothers you that I'm looking to the side, sorry. And then you just want to take about as wide as your straightener is on the bottom because any wider and it looks like you just forgot to take the iron down all the way. This is personally my favorite way to do it because I feel like when you curl it with the iron, you get like more of a variation. Sometimes when you straighten it last, especially if your hair is shorter like mine is, it tends to look like you just didn't curl it enough. So this was my favorite. I'll probably time lapse most of this because you don't want to sit here for 30 minutes watching me do this. Also for the curly haired people, if your sideburns are extra curly like that, instead of just wanding those, I do go over like my whole face area with the straightener first just to keep it a little more calm. There's something in my eye. <laughs> Quiet in the back. <coughs> I'm gonna tell everyone you have corona. No. Coughing in the back of my video. I, I don't think I can say that word. I think if they, you say that word, I heard that. Like, they yeah, demonetize you. Yeah. Rude. It's only current events, people. Let me say the words. I'm sweaty. You're gonna see my armpit sweat in the video. Okay, good. Even if you can. Yeah, I'm a human noises. being. I Can sweat, people. Laughter? Huh? These noises? I mean, maybe, but it's fine. My parents' air conditioning is kind of loud, so if you hear the noises, that's what it is. Okay. Then I'm going to take these little pieces on my hairline, kind of bump it over like that so I get a little more volume, and then just kind of pull it forward. Okay, so I have one whole side straightened first. This side I'll straighten after as I go. Depending on where you part your hair, that doesn't really matter right now. You deal with that later. You can take as long as your iron is and as wide as your iron. You don't really want to go much wider than your iron, otherwise the hair inside won't get enough heat to it and then it'll just be fuzzy and messy. So I like to take everything from the top of my ears down and then I kind of zigzag the bottom loosely with my fingers and then just clip all of this up like that and then just split it in half. This half I straighten first, this half I'll straighten later. You can kind of see how this side is insane. Wish me luck on this iron that I'm pretending not to be judgy over, but I'm being a little judgy of. It doesn't even, it's so old, it doesn't even have a temperature gauge on Ew, it. So that must be too hot because I've like melted my fingertips off. And if it's too hot for my fingertips, then it's too hot for my hair. Don't use that method for you. My fingertips are used to it for sure. Anyways, if you're wondering what to put your iron at, never put your iron over 360. 360 is the max. And I have pretty difficult, I don't know, stubborn, resistant hair, and I still don't go over 360. Except for this one that I can't see the temperature. 
Anyways, let me show you the back really quick. I have my straightener on and my curling iron. You can do this with a wand too, but I've had some people ask me how to do it with a curling iron, so that's why I'm using a curling iron. So I just took like a messy zigzag back here, and then I'm gonna loosely split it in half. Take a long section, a long skinny section, put the iron close to your head, Sorry. and then just go. <laughs> Bless you. Sorry. And then don't leave it on very long and then just let it go. And then the next section, you're gonna go the opposite direction. And then the front piece just goes back. And then just hold it on for not very long at all. I like mine to be pulled down a little bit so it's more like a straight wave than a really, really tight wave. Then take the other side. If you were to straighten it after, some people do it at the very, very end. If I was to do it after, I do it after each section. But you take it, clamp it close to your head, turn it a little bit, let it set for very minimal amount of time. Then the next section, since I did that section back, this next section will go forward. And I try to space it out so that everything like around the whole perimeter of my head is going away from my head. That way it's not like curling into my eyeball. Then I don't have to push it out of the way when I'm trying to drink coffee and it's trying to fall into my mouth. So that's how that goes. So this one's going away, then I let it go. Then I pull it all forward, take the straightener and then straighten. I kind of pull it as far back as I can. If you pull it forward and straighten it, when you look at it from the back, it'll have like a weird V shape of the straightener. So I try to pull it as close to natural fall as possible and then just get the very ends. But with this method, if my hair was longer, it'd be great. But since it's shorter, I feel like I just end up straightening half of it and it just looks weird. But you'll get to see both sides. They, they mostly look the same. I'm just really picky. So that's why I do it this way. The next section I'll take just above my eyebrow, zigzag it a little bit till I get to the middle and then just pull this down and forward. And I'll take this side, pull down and forward. If you need some control, I usually just leave mine down and kind of crazy because I'm fast. You can clip that out of the way so you remember where it's at. If you don't, you can just let it be. And then I do the same thing. I take this section, long and skinny, pinch it, turn it, turn it, and then just hold it for a brief second and then drop it down. Then I take this section, clamp it at the root, turn it forward towards my face, spin it, hold it just a second, and then let it down. And then I just alternate directions till I get to the front. Even if the section above my ear is back, then I still do the next one back. So like this section, just the way I grabbed it, ends up going back, and then the whole front will just go back. And then I le typically leave out roughly as much as I straightened. But the reason I like to straighten it first is because you're not always going to get precisely one inch when you curl it. So if the bottom's already straight, if there's variations like that's a little bit longer, it's okay. It just kind of adds to the texture. Take this side, a long skinny strand going back. Some of these are a little smaller because I can't actually see what I'm sectioning with the camera. So this section maybe was a little bit too thick, too long, I should say. So some of my sections are a little short, but that's fine. These are messy beach waves. They're supposed to be kind of a mess. Now I'm gonna pull this all under my chin, straighten just the ends. Since I didn't get the sideburns before, I'm gonna come through and just tap the root with those. Okay, now that we're at the top, I'm going to turn around and show you how, they, how I do the back because I get a lot of questions about how to connect it back here. I take the whole top and then just do a rough zigzag part and pull it down. And now I'll split it just so I can see what I'm doing. Take the iron 
hold it up. And I always like to keep my iron up and down for waves, for these types of waves, I should say. So as close to vertical as you can. And since that one went back, this one will go forward. And then I do the same for the next section. So once I get to about this part where the top of your head is kind of split in half like that, then I start doing everything from the front instead of focusing on keeping that split in the back. So that means I can look at you again. How you curl the front is up to you. Some people curl it down the middle, whether they flip it to the side or leave it in the middle or not. Some people, if they're gonna part it, they part it first. It's just personal preference. Play around with the whole front section until you get it to match your own face. I'm gonna probably do it down the middle since that's what I started showing you. And it doesn't matter if you start back here up here for the front part, I'm just gonna start from the front. That way I can make sure I end up with these pieces going back. Let's get that done. I'm gonna probably do the first two sections back. I'll probably, I'll do some forward. You want to clamp it at the root because if you start on the bottom and roll up, then the bottom is getting more heat. And that means when your hair just inevitably falls flat because of the wind or, I don't know, naturally it falling flat, the part that has the most heat is more likely to keep the curl. And that'll give you like a weird flat Jimmy Neutron's mom kind of look, you know, not cute. I'm getting sweaty, so my little baby hairs that I straighten are already starting to curl, so that's fun for me. Then this section will go forward and then the rest of the front will go back. And then just look at it in the mirror and if you see any random pieces that didn't curl, just go over those again. I'm gonna blame this curling iron. Okay, and then before I straighten this side, I don't know if you can see because my hair is dark, but see how this side just looks done? It's just faster to me personally. You do however it's faster for you, but it's faster for me if I can just straighten all the ends really quick and then go through because sometimes if you curl it, you get it like this old, kind of out of date, curly, Shirley temple -y look. If you forget to straighten a piece, then you have one weird curl. It's just easier for me to pop through the ends really quick, get this fun beach wavy look without having to forget about hairs. Because if you forget to curl a hair, that's fine. It kind of hides in the waves. If you forget to straighten a hair, it sticks out like that. Now I'm gonna just grab all of this, try to get all of the ends with a teeny tiny viewfinder. These ones I can pull forward because my haircut is weird from all these broken bits, so it doesn't matter if I pull them forward or back, but for the back pieces, you wanna keep those, keep the straightener as far back as possible. Cap over the top too a little bit. And then once you give it a second to cool, you can run your hands through it. You can use a lightweight, either a texture spray or a lightweight hairspray just to give it some more grit, but Thankfully for us curly girls, we don't really need to try that hard to keep our hair to stay put. I didn't bring any texture spray, so I'm stealing my sister's. It's Kenra. I like Kenra a lot, so I'm pretty sure I'll love it. So then if you want a little more pop up here, you can just kind of lift it and spray the roots a little. Make it a little more messy. That smells good. Mm -hmm. I need this. It smells like... You picked it out. <laughs> Did I pick it out? Uh-huh. I like you, I trust yeah. this. I trust this brand. Oops. You get to where you just have brands you just trust. There. So you can see how both sides mostly look the same. I just like that this side kind of lays where I want it to at the bottom. This side, even though I straightened it, it still has some weird pieces that are wanting to flip up. But the good thing is, since the back and forth curling is pretty much the same, once you run your hands through it, you're really not gonna be able to tell. It just looks like fun beach waves. 
And upon looking in the mirror, I see all these weird pieces on this side that are not straight. My professionally licensed stylist opinion is just straighten it first. Save yourself the hassle of having to check your hair all the time. Look at that, can you see it? It looks insane. Also, if I put it back, you see how like it kind of appears that this whole chunk is straight? That just kind of happens. If I had my sister's length of hair, which is like to her hips, you can get away with it looking straighter on the ends, but sorry. You're good. There's judging her snacks, because I need snacks. Hey, what do you think? What? This side I straightened first. This side I straightened after. I like the... This side first? Yeah. This side's the winner. Yeah. Because it just, that, all of yeah. that looks too straight. And it's too... too... All right, that is that. Then once it's cooled, you can run your hands through it, go about your day, flip it to the side, have some fun volume. If you have any questions at all, I try to be good about responding to comments, especially when it's about hair, because it's my life. So if you have any questions, post them in the comments below. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Don't forget to hit thumbs up. Don't forget, get, oh my gosh, the words. Don't forget to subscribe to see some more hair content. If you have any specific hair videos you wanna see, um, like my best friend keeps asking me for a wand tutorial and I keep saying okay, and it's been three years since I've said okay. But if you have any videos you wanna see, post them in the comments below and I will try to do it. My sister's gonna harass me into filming a bunch of videos this week since we're stuck at home and I have lots of time. So my excuse of no time is gone. Okay, thanks, bye.